So, in order to understand how the Z Modeler works, we're gonna break this series down into actions and targets. Actions are what happens when you click. Targets are where those actions get applied. For example, if action is set to bevel and target is set to single poly, when we left click, it will only bevel that single polygon. But if you change target to all polygons, then it will apply a bevel to every polygon. That's all the target is. If you change target again to front face and all, then only the polygons that are facing the camera will be affected. All polygons. It literally just applies whatever action you picked to every available face on your object. So if your action is mask, it's gonna mask everything. If your action is crease, it's gonna crease everything. If you have creases on your object already and you wanna remove them, but you just don't wanna spend time manually finding them, just set action to uncrease all polygons, and it will uncrease everything automatically in no time. All quads. When target is set to quads, that just means your actions will only be applied to polygons with four edges. If you're beveling, only the quads get beveled. If you're creasing, only the quads get creased. All triangles. It's really the exact same as all quads, except for triangles. Any action you set is only going to affect faces with three sides. So with masking, creasing, beveling, Q-mesh, you name it. Anytime you want to target triangles, this is what you use. Behind. Basically, when target is set to behind, it will only apply the action to things that are behind the face that you have selected. So if we click here, it will affect everything because everything is behind this face. But if we click over here, you will notice that it only affects the faces behind the face that I clicked. So the faces that were in front of it aren't going to get affected. And it depends on the orientation of the face you clicked, not the camera. So if we click here, it'll affect these, but if we click there, it'll affect those. So if you want to tell ZBrush, hey, only mask the points behind this face, just do it like this, then bam, you're done. Behind and polygroup. This is exactly the same thing as behind, except instead of applying the actions to everything that is behind the face you start with, it only applies actions to things behind the face you start with that are also the same color as the polygroup you start with. So here you can see I'm clicking on a pink polygroup, so only the stuff behind that is also a pink polygroup is going to be affected. That's all it means. It's the same thing with the addition of a polygroup color filter. So same thing, if we have a green polygroup here and here and here, here, and target is set to behind and polygroup. If we left click here, even though all these are the same color green polygroup, it only applies the action to the ones that are also behind. So that's how that works. Brush radius. This one's real simple. It just means it'll apply whatever action you picked to whatever area your brush is over. You can see how big the radius is with the red circle. So if we increase the radius, that's where the actions get applied. If we shrink the radius, the actions will only be applied to that smaller area. Curved island. If you click on a face that is in the middle of a surface, it's gonna act just like you were targeting a single poly. But if you click on a face next to an edge, it will apply the action to all faces touching that edge. So this is what it looks like in the middle of a surface. This is what it looks like when you apply it to something on the edge. Facing front all. This literally just means anything that is facing the camera. So if you have a two-sided object and the camera can see one side of it, it's gonna apply the actions to only the faces the camera can see. This is really good if you ever wanna just mask something that is facing you, but you don't wanna mask the faces on the other side and you want to do it in a single click. Facing front island. This is the exact same thing as face in front all, except it only applies to faces that are attached to the object you left clicked. You see how this top part is not connected to the main object? That is because it is separate, which ZBrush considers to be an island. So even though it has faces that are facing the camera, it's not part of the island that I clicked on. So nothing's gonna happen to it. Conversely, if we left click on the island, all the faces on the front of it will have actions applied. But since it's not connected to the big one, nothing is gonna happen down there. Flat and polygroup. This just means that it will apply the action to every face that is the same color and angle as the one that you left click. So if we go to this side, you see a blue polygroup. If we left click anywhere here, every face that is both blue and facing the same angle as the one I clicked is going to be affected. And the polygroups don't have to be touching each other. If we go over here to this green side, you'll see we have a green area here and one green polygon up here. And even though they're not connected, once we pick one and left click, you'll see all of them be affected. And that is because they are both green and they are both facing the exact same angle. Flat border. 
Anytime you have a flat surface and you want to apply some type of action to the border of that face, this is the target to use. So if we click on this face, the actions only get applied to the border. Same with this face, and this face, and this face. It's a little easier to see what it's trying to do if you set your action to mask, but basically, yeah, that's what it does. Flat inner. It is literally just the opposite of flat border. If you click on a flat surface, it'll apply the action to everything except the border. Doesn't care about poly groups, just the face angles. Here's what it looks like with bevel, here's what it looks like with mask. Flat island. This just applies actions to every face that is both connected and oriented in the same direction as the one you clicked. It's like if flat inner and flat outer were on at the same time. And it does not care about poly groups. You'll see here, even with a bunch of different poly groups, it only cares about face orientation and if they're connected. In front. This is literally the opposite of behind. So this just applies whatever action you picked to every face that is in front of the direction of the polygon you click. So if we click here, it's gonna get this whole side. If we click here, it's gonna affect all the faces that are in front of this face. Here, all the faces in front of it will get selected in front and poly group. This is the exact same thing as in front with an additional poly group constraint. So it'll apply an action to everything in front of the polygon you click that is the same color as the poly group you clicked. So if we start with blue, the only faces that are in front of this one that are also blue are gonna be activated. If we click on this face here, even though it's not connected, all the faces that are the same color are gonna be activated. So just remember, everything that is the same color and in front of the direction the polygon is facing are are gonna have the action applied. Island. This just means it'll apply actions to every face that is attached to the object that you clicked. So here you see we have two separate objects. There's a small object floating on the top and the main body at the bottom. Because they're separated, they're treated as two different islands. So if I left click the bottom, that's where the actions get applied. If I left click the top, then that is where the actions get applied instead. Poly corners. This just applies actions to the corners of whatever polygon you click. Poly group all. This just applies your action to every polygon that is the same color as the one you left click. No matter the angle, no matter the island, no matter front or back or edge or inner, any poly group that is the same color is gonna get affected. That's all it means. Poly group border. This just applies your action to the outside of any poly group you left click. They don't have to be facing the same angle. As long as the colors are connected, this target will work. Polygroup inner. This is literally the opposite of polygroup border. If there's a polygroup and you left click on it, it will only apply your action to the inside of that polygroup. And it's not going to care about angles, only if the faces are connected. Polygroup island. This is a combination of polygroup inner with polygroup border. So when you left click on a polygon, every face that is the same color is going to be affected by your action. And remember, they have to be connected. Just because they're close or on the same side doesn't mean they're connected. They have to be touching each other to be considered part of the same island. Poly loop. Poly loop is just a string of connected polygons. So if we have action set to extrude and target is set to poly loops, when you hover your mouse over a face, you will notice that there will be a little line that points in a direction. If you left click, it will apply your action to whatever poly loop is in that direction. So you can see the line pointing to the side here. So that means it's going to apply the action horizontally. Likewise, if you see the line pointing up, if we left click now, it's going to apply the action vertically instead. So that's what poly loops are. Poly loop and flat. This is the exact same thing as normal poly loops, but instead of going all the way around, your actions only get applied on the flat side that you start with. So here's normal poly loop, and here is flat poly loop. Poly loop and poly group. This is the exact same thing as poly loop with a poly group constraint. So it's going to apply your action to a poly loop, but only to faces that are the same color as the one you click. So you can see here we have a cube. It's got two red faces and two green faces. So if we left click on red, it's going to extrude a loop, but the loop stops when there's no more red faces. Same thing if we go to the green side. If we left click, it's going to extrude a loop, but only as long as there are green faces. So, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.